Guys, welcome back to Supercar Street Racing. And once again, we have something to take a look out here. This is the Logitech Litra Glow. We bought two of these for the studio. And today we're going to be opening these up and taking a look at them on the channel. Hang out with us. It's going to be fun. Guys, welcome back to Supercar Street Racing once again. And today in front of us, we have the Litra Glow Light. And this is a light designed for creators like myself to light up your face. And it literally mounts directly to the monitor there. So I did buy two of them for the studio because our ring light did go out and we needed something so we can do content from inside of the studio. Now taking a look at this, we're gonna unbox it today, actually set one up and use it and see how it performs. Welcome back to Supercar Street Racing once again. We're here in the 4K production studio, as you can see, and today we have this Logitech Litra Glow that we are going to be checking out on the channel. Now, this light is designed for creators like me because you need some sort of front lighting source when you do voiceovers, exactly what we're doing right now, and we are actually being lit by the Litra Glow right now. And to give you an idea of what that looks like, check this out. So right here in front of me, we have the Litra Glow and we are recording in OBS Studio and that is lighting us up from the front. And behind me, of course, we have some interesting LED lighting. Here's another view of what it looks like from inside the studio, but not really much there you can see on me because the camera is tilted down a little bit. This is kind of the environment that the uh, studio has, so that's what we are dealing with. Now, the light that we were using before, the ring light, did die. So we went ahead and got the Litra Glow. We actually ordered two of these. We are currently being lit by one. There will be one on this other monitor here. If I go ahead and show you the, one more time, the view here. We're gonna put the other monitor right, I mean, the other light right on this monitor here. So we have two of them. We're back here again in the front camera and we have the Litra Glow in front of me and we have not opened this one yet. So I wanted to go ahead and open it with you guys. Let's do that now. Right in front of me, we have the Logitech Litra Glow, as you can see right here. We haven't opened this one. I wanted to do it on camera with you guys so you can get a look at the packaging and everything. And on the back of the packaging, it just says it has an adjustable mount, true soft technology, and uh, adjustable brightness and color temperature on the back as well. There are controls on the back for all of that. You can make it either warm or cool light by pressing buttons on the back of the actual Litra Glow by Logitech. This is how the packaging looks. This is how it comes right from the factory. There is the Litra Glow looking so fly inside the box. And when you pull it out right here, you can see that it does have a long stand to keep it pressed up against your monitor. And then this part is like draped over the top. It does have a USB type C connector here for power. So when you guys power this up, you can power it up with any five volt USB adapter that as long as it has a USB type C, and they do give you a USB type C cable here in the package as well. And to use this, you simply do like you use any other USB device. You can plug it in any USB outlet that provides power. And then on the back of the light here, there is the USB type C. You just plug that in. And this is a look at the Logitech Litra Glow and how it attaches to the monitors. It will not stay on for some reason, and uh, I'm gonna have to test this on another power outlet. It's not staying on. That's live video for you. So interestingly enough, my receiver's USB power would not power the light. It did fine on my old ring light for whatever reason. It doesn't like this one, but here I have it plugged into the actual PC power source, and you can see there it is very bright. So I'm gonna lower the brightness on the back and show you. That's lowering the brightness, and then this here is the color temperature. You can see it go cool there. And now what we're gonna do is put this up on the uh, monitor stand and see how this looks with actual video. All right, guys, we do have both of our Logitech Litra Glow lights pointed right at me. One on the left monitor, one on the right monitor. Let me show you what that looks like from the above. Now you can see how I'm lit on both sides, which will prevent shadows from happening on my face here. 
and they do just mount right to the monitor stand so easily and kind of rest on it like a webcam does. Right here in front of me, guys, we have the instruction manual for the Logitech Litra Glow Light. And in the instruction manual, it simply has pictures such as an Ikea product would. And it literally just shows you putting the light onto the monitor and then that you can tilt the actual top of the light forward or backwards as well. And then also it says that it can spin on its axis as well. You can put the light wherever you really want to and turn it in any direction. So it could be on either end of your monitors. Now giving you a better view of what it looks like here, you can see right here, we've got one almost on the end of this monitor and one over here on this monitor. Um, we actually need to rerun the USB cable because it is kind of tight back there and it is showing. Guys, right next to me here, we have the Litra Glow from Logitech premium LED streaming light with TrueSoft, an adjustable monitor mount, and it does adjustable color temperature as well. And if we see right here, it has 4.5 star reviews, so not a bad rating out of 2200 ratings. Some of the one star reviews say, ruined by a few critical flaws and it's not a camera. I don't know why they put camera, it is not one. Soft and very bright, but lacks appropriate controls. I don't know, all you need is brightness and color temperature in my opinion. There apparently is a software for it, so if you wanna use that, it's called G-Hub and somebody was just talking about it right there. You don't have to use the software. And it says right here that it makes you have natural skin tones, a radiant look, and it is a full spectrum LED light, and we knew that already. And it's safe for all day streaming, it doesn't get hot or anything like that like big large lights do says it's got a freedom of light placements because basically it's really easy to place anywhere on the monitor that you want. Now they're fully customizable, customizable it says, with your keyboard and mouse, which I have not looked at that software. Maybe we can take a look at that. And it is plug and play. It just literally plugs in for streamers and content creators with absolutely no drama whatsoever. So right here in front of me, you can see the Logitech G Hub software that you can download and install. And this lets you be able to program the light and control it from the keyboard. However, I did notice in one review, someone was saying that to really control this the proper way, you need the Logitech keyboard and you can't really do function keys or whatever on a normal Windows keyboard. So just be aware, it's not easily controlled unless you also have the Logitech keyboard in front of you. All right, so you can see right here, there are a lot of other options for lights if you so wish to. There is one here for $17.99 from Letwing. There is a Nexaglow right here as well for $37.99. And there are plenty of other choices available on Amazon that have okay reviews. All right guys, right in front of me here, you do see the Logitech G Hub download available from Logitech. Let's go ahead and download that for Windows. And we do have it. Let's go ahead and install that right now. So you just click install. It says, please wait while we install the G Hub. Now we wanna see what kind of functionality we're gonna get with our lights when we have the G-Hub software installed on the PC. All right, we got the G-Hub software open in front of me right now, and you can see that you have three different options here. Now, if you click this edit button, you can name them, and you can see I've renamed them right and left. It will not let me drag them into the appropriate positions like you can a monitor though, unfortunately. But if we go here and double click the right one, you can see that we can change the color temperature and it did change to a yellowish hue right there. We can also change the brightness. You can see it can go from no brightness to quite a bit of brightness. And then on this side here, we can go to the other one, change the brightness. And those are about the same color temperature. You can see I'm oversaturated here, so we don't need that much light. Let's go back. And lower the brightness a little bit. And that's that's better, but still a lot. The camera seems to be oversaturating the the uh, brightness levels when I crank up these. Now you have this activation with camera here. You can turn on the lights whenever you get your camera turned on. And it does say camera depth tech webcam. We can choose which camera we want this thing to bring the lights on when we turn it on. And you can change the tile view or you can change to a list view here. And then you can actually create an account with Logitech to go ahead and log in. So there's no way to set this up with a keyboard or anything like that. You can see if you double click it, there's some manual adjustment here. 
where you can just p pick your colors instead of using a slider. But you can see there's no way to associate this with a actual keyboard shortcut, so it just does it automatically. So yes, the camera is in use with another application, which is actually why we can't see it. So yes, the camera is in use with another application, which is actually why we can't see it. Guys, next to me right now, you can see the Supercar Street Racing channel, which is growing greatly, and I really appreciate all your help and your viewership. But I just want to ask you for one thing, if you could please like and subscribe and click the bell icon so you get notified when I put out a new video. I do try to do daily videos. It doesn't always happen. Um, sometimes there's not enough content, but I really strive to do daily videos. And do me a favor, when I give you an Amazon link, go ahead and click through it. Let's give you an example. So if we go into YouTube Studio here, and we just go to one of my videos, and inside of my video link here, there will be a link to something like these Hexaglow lights. Now you don't have to necessarily buy the Hexaglow lights. Buy anything through that link and it does hook me up with just a tiny amount of money to keep the channel going and to keep bringing you guys great content from Supercar Street Racing. I'm really happy you guys joined us today and we will see you next time. We got to get out of here and go find something to do on Christmas.